Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sama. So today I will be going out with my best friend and her boyfriend and we might be going to Batu Caves or the Botanical Gardens here in Kuala Lumpur. We haven't decided yet because it might rain and the weather forecast says that it's like 50% chance of like thunderstorms but that's always the case here in KL. You're either gonna be stuck in rain or not so we're kind of like gambling right now to go outside and you know go for this outdoor activity. Hopefully I can bring you to Batu Caves because Batu Caves is like a really interesting location. It's a Hindu temple in a cave in the middle of Kuala Lumpur. It's just so beautiful and they've recently redone it because it's like super nice and colorful now. So I would love to just bring you guys along so I can show you what Kuala Lumpur has to offer. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and let us go! Here we are guys at Batu Caves in Kuala Lumpur and as you can see it is very grandiose. We've got about two temples in the cave itself and you also have a few temples at the bottom of the stairs. It is massive and it has been here for many years. Um, my friend just told me that the statue outside is actually quite a recent addition like probably within the decade or just a little bit more. But yeah, it's a beautiful cave. If you ever come to Kuala Lumpur, please come and visit Batu Caves because it's one of the best things that you will witness with your eyes and one of the best experiences in my, in my opinion. We're kind of lucky right now to actually visit Batu Caves when during this pandemic because there's no one here. Usually the temple is quite crowded but yeah. So it says here that the Batu Caves is actually a limestone hill that has a series of caves and cave temples and it's in Gombak Slango and it's Name comes from the Malay word Batu, so Batu means rock. The cave is one of the most popular Hindu shrines outside of India and is dedicated to Lord Murugan, which is the huge statue outside of the cave. And this is actually a temple that's known for Taipusam, which is one of the biggest prayers in the world.
here in Batu Caves, you can see like a lot of monkeys. And where? Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, what was that? What that? I think that's the sound of the peacock. Oh, and where? <laughs> Ooh, you can see the peacock. Chickens and peacocks and a bunch of monkeys. <laughs> it's a really big, big coop though. <laughs> Whoa, look at that aggression. <laughs> well, it's so clean. But the cut is really nice. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a bowl. It's like this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay guys, let's be back home now. If you are ever in Kuala Lumpur, please go and visit Batu Caves. It is one of the most beautiful temples here in Kuala Lumpur. And in my opinion, in the world, because of how it is perched inside a cave in the middle of the city, I think it's so special. And I think that it is something wonderful that Malaysia has to offer that you must witness yourself. The steps up are amazing now that they're basically like rainbow colored. The first few times I've been to Batu Caves, they were actually, it's still still really beautiful but kind of dull colored. I think it's been like many years of just wear and tear from people climbing up and down the stairs and so it's just normal colored like kind of grey toned but now with these colors it really makes Batu Caves pop so much and I do feel that it has enhanced how special the place is and I would definitely highly recommend that you go and visit because it makes for a perfect photo opportunity and also makes for an amazing experience here in Kuala Lumpur itself. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye!